Hello everyone. Sorry I'm late. It is summer break, which means we've got kids home and kids often demand to eat three times a day, every single day. I know. I know. So I was finishing up with a little momming, but uh, here I am. And I'm so glad you could join me today. I, uh, I love summer. <laughs> I think most of us do for a lot of reasons, but um, summer wardrobes are really, really tricky. And one of the reasons is it's short season. And um, shorts can be hard to wear, hard to style, hard to make interesting outfits. And we've talked about that a little bit this summer already, but I was recently asked if um, I ever wear shorts? And the answer is yes. And sometimes. Shorts are my least favorite type of clothing to wear for several reasons. And this is just me personally. I think they look great on everybody else. I don't think they look bad on me. I just want to say that. But so summer is torture for me because I have Renos and I'm always freezing. And for some reason, um, Everybody seems to think the indoor temperatures need to be refrigerator temperatures. Like we need to be able to leave meat out on the counter or something, restaurants, uh, stores. I mean, it's awful. And even in my own house, I would turn the air conditioning. I have, I have many times turned the air conditioning off. And then my husband would come home from work and be like, oh, the AC must be broken. And I'm like, broken it's just turned off and and right around the time the house hits 80 plus degrees I start to feel almost comfortable um my hands and toes go numb they uh and my lower legs and feet turn purple red or white it's a circulatory uh problem and I'm always cold I'm always always cold and at least in the other months I can wear more stuff <laughs> boots and socks and, and pants. And so at my desk, I wear a sweater and I have some uh, Ugg boots that I keep under my desk and put on. I keep a space heater on, but I'm freezing in the summer. And so I've been wearing jeans and a cardigan with a short sleeve shirt all summer long. Um, <clears throat> But sometimes the day does call for shorts. If I'm going to be outside and it's hot, then yeah, I'll be okay in shorts. The second reason is um, I don't wear anything that uh, is super short when it comes to shorts or skirts. I keep it just above my knee, and that's a personal uh, thing. It's a religious thing, and it's not a judgment thing. I don't think it matters if anybody else wears them. I just don't. And that means I'm left with Bermuda shorts as my only option. So uh, Bermuda shorts are decidedly unsexy, <laughs> uncool, and unflattering. They are mom shorts. They can also be chic and stylish, and they can work great for many of the classic style twists, but they're about as unedgy as it gets. And since I, my personal style is edgy classic, that means Bermuda shorts make it even harder for me to get my edgy classic style on when I'm wearing them. Um, and yet for some of us, they are the only shorts we will wear. The reasons vary, but they are part of our wardrobes, so it's important to wear them well. They don't have to be frumpy or dumpy if you choose the right ones and you style them well. So the I'm sharing today five tips to style Bermuda shorts, and they come and go in their popularity, but um, they're currently kind of, well, actually, we're, kind of, we're in this really... Uh, kind of new style era that I'm loving personally, where whatever you like goes. If you like it, wear it. If that's Bermuda shorts or mid-thigh shorts or short shorts or, you know, whatever, it's all in style. 
just wear it. And I think that is so fantastic. That's how it should be. We all have different preferences just because one thing is trending and another isn't does not mean that we all have to wear it. And I really love that more and more there is a variety out there um, <laughs> with clothing styles. And so I'm sharing these five tips. If Bermuda shorts are your thing, whether it's because they're currently kind of trending um, or because that's just what you prefer to wear, let's talk about how to make them look great. So my very first tip is this. Fit is critical. It is key. It is essential. And I cannot emphasize this enough. Just like with every outfit, you want to highlight the narrowest parts of your figure and provide balance in the top and bottom halves of your body. So uh, I know sometimes oversized things trend, but it's really hard to get balance that way. And shorts should fit you nicely in the waist, skin the hips and thighs, even if that means you have to get them tailored. It's totally worth it to have a great pair of shorts that fit you properly in the waist, hips, and thighs. Do not, do not buy men's shorts just because they are longer. They will not fit your body right. Even if you think you have a boyish figure. The key is ish. You're not a boy and you don't look like a man. You do not have a man's figure. <laughs> you do not need men's shorts. Men's shorts are cut for men. You are not a man. So there, the great thing about this new uh, stage that we're in is there are shorts available in every single inseam length you can imagine. And um, in the Stunning Style Classic Summer Wardrobe Guide, I included links to everything from three inch inseams to 13, maybe 15 inch inseams. There is one out there for you. And um, they will be cut for a woman. I personally like chino shorts. As much as I love a good cutoff and I love denim, Chino shorts are just easier to um, dress up and not look like you are going to do yard, yard work because shorts are very casual. Sorry, I need a drink. My, my throat. Um, <clears throat> they're already inherently casual and cutoffs um, are even more casual. And that's great for some days, but not for every day. And so chino shorts are a great option. Um, they're structured. They usually have a nice tailored fit and tend to be universally flattering. Tailored does not mean skin tight, though. And um, it's okay if they fall straighter from the thigh to the top of the knee. That's what mine do. Um, they can taper in some, um, but steer clear of a really flared cut at this length that gets your entering frumpy territory. Um, that's really hard to pull off and definitely do not wear basketball shorts. Also a no. Um, I mean, if you like basketball shorts and you want to wear them because because you just like them, that's great but they're not going to be your um, most flattering, chicest option. So let me show you what I mean. As some good examples. So the uh, shorts on the left, the black one, are your typical chino style. And you can see they come away from my leg a little bit. So um, they fall straighter from my thigh. I have a pear shape. And so, you know, I fill up my shorts, but they have a little bit of extra here in the leg, which makes a nice silhouette and without flaring and adding a lot of width to my leg. 
And then on the right, I'm wearing denim shorts. And these, this is the uh, more elevated way to wear denim shorts. And these are uh, fitted all the way down. These don't fall straight from my thighs. You can see the difference between the two. Th these pictures were taken, I think, in the same week. Um, and so you can see there's no gap between the shorts and my leg the way there is over here. And um, it just, this, this side falls straighter and this side follows the curve of my leg entirely. So these are denim, but they have a finished hem and they look dressier and nicer than um, a pair of cutoffs. It, it, don't get me wrong, I have cutoffs too and they have their days. But most days I just want to look a little more um, dressed up for, uh, that's just what I prefer. And so those are a little too casual for most of my personal everydays. And this is the type of denim short that I personally prefer. <clears throat> so it really depends on your personal style. Oh, sorry, I feel like I've got something stuck in my chest. The bronchitis is gone, but there's still just a little something here sometimes. The next tip I have for you is to elevate your footwear, literally and figuratively. I love to pair even a short wedge with my Bermuda shorts because it lengthens the leg and it helps with the break in the leg line. It also takes the outfit up a level uh, without being difficult to walk in. I have six kids and I have to wear shoes that um, I can be comfortable with them in, but even a one inch wedge will help. And I sprained my ankle really badly a year and a half ago and it's still not right, still. Um, but even a one inch wedge makes a difference and it just, Bermuda shorts cut your leg line off and this, um, little bit of a heel helps. Probably the most difficult shoe to make work um, sorry, is uh, like um, a Vans type sneaker because it cuts your leg, off, leg line off even more. So let's look at a few of these examples, but I still wear them. I, I don't not wear them, but I'm just, a, I'm aware of what it's doing to my leg line. Um, but sometimes they're just the, the right shorts for the day. So on the left here, you can see I'm wearing my very favorite sneakers. I wear these all the time, love them. And um, they do shorten my leg line compared to say these over here. These are kind of in graduated height order. So these red wedges, mm, I'd have to double check to be sure, but I'd say they, they're a one and a half inch wedge. These leopard wedges are probably a two inch wedge. And these are very easy walkable heights for me. Um, and they don't have any kind of platform in the front. And then this last one is, I think it's a three and a half inch wedge but it has like a three quarter inch platform in the front. So the, the angle of my foot is not as sharp as it could be, but you can see how each one of these changes the look of my leg line. All the shorts are uh, either the same shorts or the same length. And um, it really does, it just changes it. So. Even, and I know not everyone can wear any kind of a heel or wedge. And if you can't, then you have to take your personal health and um, comfort top priority. But for those of you who can, this is a great option. The next top or tip I have for you is to choose a flattering shape in your top. So if your shorts are very fitted all the way down, you need to balance that with a less fitted but not oversized drowning you cut in your top 
And if your shorts are a little straighter, like most of mine are, you can um, either wear that or a little more fitted top that skins your shape, but does not show what you had for lunch today. So let me show you what I mean. And if any of you have tips, please share them. And if you have any questions, go ahead and or comments, go ahead and ask them here and I will um, answer them at the end. At the end, it's my favorite part when we get to chat. So on the left, I'm wearing uh, those, those fitted white shorts, but my top is a little looser. It doesn't follow my shape super tightly. Um, there's some room in there and on the right, I'm wearing the more chino style shorts that have a little bit of a straighter cut. And I'm wearing a similar um, cut in my top, but uh, because I've tucked it, you can still see where my waist is. And let me show you one more. In this one, I'm wearing those straighter cut shorts, but I'm wearing a more fitted top and there's the balance there. I would not wear the fitted top and the fitted shorts all the way down. So um, it's, it's, it's achieving that balance in your look. And with Bermuda shorts, it's really important to do that. My fourth tip for you is accessorize, accessorize, accessorize. <laughs> a necklace and or earrings, bracelet, belt, whatever it is can make all the difference in any outfit. It makes the outfit look intentional and finished and it only takes a minute. The summer temperatures can make a statement necklace feel too heavy. So even a delicate necklace, or a few delicate necklaces layered together can make a difference. You can wear anything from studs to statement earrings. You can wear a small bracelet or a big bracelet. And if you want, you can pair any of those together in any way you want. You can add a belt um, to make a statement and add interest to your outfit without overheating you. And it really all depends on your personal style, your personal preferences. Not everyone likes all the same um, sizes and types of accessories. So it's really important to know what you're most comfortable with and what you'll actually wear. I have been mostly wearing statement earrings. I took mine out for some reason. I don't remember why, but... Mostly I've been wearing statement earrings and um, this pendant my husband got me. Um, in this first picture on the left, I'm wearing a statement earring. In the picture in the middle, I've got three things on. I've got a smaller statement earring, um, a small pendant necklace and a statement bracelet on. That is a lot of jewelry for me personally. For others, it wouldn't be enough. And then in the picture on the right, I'm wearing um, a medium sized earring and a medium sized necklace. And I'm also wearing this belt here. So they just add a little something extra to the outfit. And in the first one, I just got one, one accessory on and that's enough. But in each one of these, there's just a little bit more and it really just depends on your preference, the outfit that day, and what you personally feel comfortable in. But even one thing, like right now I've got on a bracelet and then I've got in my, my earrings that I always have in without my, my big ones, but those accessories are there and they add something to my outfit. Tip number five is have fun with colors and prints. Because shorts have a lot less fabric, it's easier to wear a punchy color or a pattern on your bottom half without feeling um, overwhelmed or uh, overdone. 
I, it's not, it's the special day I personally can wear colored bottoms like pants. And this is all personal for you. It could be your very favorite thing to do. Um, and, but when it comes to shorts, I, I can go with it. It's, it's, they're smaller. And so I'm okay with it. And, you know, in this outfit on the left, I'm wearing pattern in my top and then the bold red in my shorts. And then on the right, I'm wearing just a simple navy top and the pink shorts. Um, you'd have a hard time finding me in pants that color. I'm not saying never ever, but it, it, uh, it's not often. Sometimes I'm, I just suddenly want to, but it's, I have, the mood has to be perfect. The conditions must, stars must align and I have to be just, just the right mood to want to do that. And then, let me just make sure I got all my pictures. And then the last tip, this is actually tip number six. Uh, I, I, I added to it, sorry. I'm not sorry, you'll be glad. So the last tip is uh, something that mm, a lot of people are not aware of that really, really makes Bermuda shorts tricky. And that is the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a design concept that is ancient. It's ancient and it's used in all types of um, visual compositions from architecture to photography, um, paintings, uh, everything, interior design, anything that is visual, the rule of thirds uh, applies to. And it suggests that a visual composition is most pleasing to the eye when its elements are divided into two thirds and one third ratios. And we don't consciously know why we may prefer some photographs or outfits more than others, or why some sculptures are more attractive. But one of the reasons is likely that the artist or designer used um, the rule of thirds and achieving the rule of thirds with Bermuda shorts is really, really hard. But for many of us, that's the only length of shorts that we wear. Um, and it has to do with getting your hem length of your shorts and your um, tops right. And it's really tricky, really tricky with Bermuda shorts. And this is something that we dive in deep, deep, deep in the Style Your Silhouette course. It's in course two of Style Your Silhouette. Um, it's uh, it, it goes beyond shorts, but it can make all the difference in how your outfits look. And um, like we have several lessons on it in the course, but that's just kind of uh, an introduction to what the rule of thirds is and just trying to get that ratio of two thirds to one third or one third to two thirds in your outfits is, um, is really tricky. And I, I added this at the very last minute and I asked my assistant to grab me some photos like 30 seconds before I came live. So, um, she's still, uh, she's still searching for me. I sorry <laughs> to her and to you. Um, but it is it is a huge huge reason why Bermuda shorts are so tricky because often what you're you're pairing is um, at a 50 50 ratio, and that's just not as visually pleasing. So if we look at, we'll just use one of the. Uh, collages I have right now and take a look at that. 
So if you look at this outfit here on the left, it is more of a 50-50 ratio. Like it just, my outfit is divided in half, where if you look at this one, you can see my top is slightly longer than the bottom. And um, this one is, is more in the 50-50 range. And so visually, this one is just naturally more pleasing because it's not cutting me in half. And like I said, this is a topic we really dive into in the Style Your Silhouette courses. Um, it's an, uh, more of an advanced style topic. And, um, oh, she found one of them for me. Hold on, I'll grab it. Oh, just kidding. Um, anyway, uh, if your sire silhouette is all about dressing for your body shape and figuring out which shorts most flatter your body shape, which tops, bottoms, all of it, and how to really provide that balance. I've done several um, style snacks. I've done one about each of the individual body shapes and how you can dress for them. And I've also done one about how to figure out your body shape. So we'll add links to those as well. And if you want to learn more about the Style Your Silhouette body shape course, you can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash love my body. And um, this is just one of the things that can really, really make your Bermuda shorts outfits, just that much more uh, pleasing and flattering and um, easy to wear. So it's one of the reasons that you've struggled with your, your, your outfits. It's just like, oh, something is not quite right. I don't know what it is, but Bermuda shorts are tricky. So I hope these six tips have helped and I would love to know, do you wear Bermuda shorts? Do you struggle with them? Are they a challenge for you? Are shorts in general a challenge for you in the summer? I know for some people, they're their very, 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 very favorite thing to wear. But as I mentioned in the beginning, they're not mine for a few reasons. But I do wear them because sometimes that is just what you need. Okay, let's take a look at some comments. Lynette says, I just... I just commented on my Bermuda shorts. First purchase of this style, not sure if they are a win or not. It's all personal preference, Lynette. And, and you know, there are different reasons for liking them and wearing them. And, um, oh, sorry, I'm still sharing that picture. For liking them and wearing them. And um, they can be very chic and sleek and sophisticated when you follow these tips and they can also be kind of frumpy and dumpy and make you feel um, just not like you're looking your best, uncomfortable. So uh, it really is all in how you wear them. Kathy says, I like Bermuda jean shorts and dark wash high rise to avoid the muffin top look. I have some of those as well. And they, you know, that dark wash denim is a great way to um, kind of dress it up again, the, the denim look. Kathy says, I also prefer a little bit of a cuff. In all your shorts, those can be a nice, a nice detail. Uh, some people love them, some people don't. Um, but yeah, they can really kind of add to that sophistication. Kathy says, you look so pretty in both. Well, thank you. And I like both for different reasons, um, but they just are very different fits. And honestly, it depends on your body shape, which ones flatter you most. Lynette says, finding a one inch wedge would be a huge win. They're out there. I have some, um, they're out there but even that little bit of a lift can really just elongate your leg just a little bit and, and make them, uh, make your legs just look a little less truncated 
in the shorts. Kathy says, the wedges are adorable, but I'm not sure about them as far as working with my plantar fasciitis feet. Yeah, I, I have trouble feet. That's not my particular version of trouble, so I get it. And, you know, this summer I haven't worn my wedges a ton because of my ankle. It's still, like, it still concerns me coming up and down the stairs, especially out on, um, out on, you know, uneven pavement and, ugh. but, uh, yeah, I don't know, but you definitely need to do what's best for your foot health. Michelle says, I love the lipstick color you're wearing today. What is the brand and color? Well, thank you. This is Lip Sense and it is, um, pink champagne and violette layered. Jana says, hi from Jan, just tuning in. Sorry to miss the first four. I love Bermudas. Well, Bermudas love you too, Janice. You know how to rock them. And you can rewatch this as soon as we're done. It'll be available. It'll also be up on my uh, website later today or tomorrow. So you can read or uh, watch this again and um, uh, get all the tips again. Two Island Girl says, my struggle is with flat sandals, thong, ankle straps, slides, or strapping sandals. What looks better? So that is tricky. That's another thing we cover in depth in the Style Your Silhouette course too. Um, what pants and shoes to wear together. Because that is just a universal, like not just shorts, but all of them. But basically... You want, well, there's not a short answer. It depends on um, what color the shoes are, how strappy they are, um, but a lower vamp is always going to elongate your leg. And the vamp is the top part of your shoe, how high it comes up on the foot. <clears throat> and then straps have their own effects. Um, that's like a whole long lesson in the style your silhouette course with all the details that go into that but uh the vamp makes a big big difference in how high it comes up your foot and where it cuts off your leg line so um that's like the shortest most inf like that's informative answer i can give you because i can't go through like the whole lesson it would take forever um but if you want to know more about that that is an entire an entire thing we do in course two of Style Your Silhouette. And you can learn more about that um, at stunningstyle.com forward slash love my body. Lynette says, it's fun getting to watch live. I've been loving the summer calendar. Well, thank you, Lynette. I'm so glad you could join me live. And she's talking about the uh, outfit calendar. It's part of the Stunning Style Society and the classic wardrobe guide. I create 100 outfit template ideas and put them on a calendar and we don't have to pick what to wear every day. It's really nice. Noreen says, I have a nice white Bermuda short. I love how they fit and look on my body shape. What do you suggest for colors and patterns for the top? Oh my gosh, Noreen. White shorts are my very favorite and basically everything. Everything. You can wear everything. Every pattern, every color could go with white. That's what I love about them. They're so crisp and fresh and summery. Um, that's like, as far as matching, that's, that's the answer. Anything you want. Uh, the rest of it depends on your body shape, honestly. And that is something we cover in depth in the style your silhouette course. And, um, uh, yeah, so Everything goes with white. Everything looks good with white. And as far as how you'll feel in them and what will feel most flattering and look most flattering to you, for you, that will depend on your body shape. Um, okay, so those are the comments and questions I see. Uh, like I said, if you want to know more about the Style Your Silhouette course, you can go to stunningstyle.com forward slash love my body. Oh, Kathy says, I used to wear white denim. Can you talk about white versus dark blue or medium Bermudas? Um, what specifically would you like to know? 
about them. They're all great. I, those are my three, I have four colors of Bermudas that I wear or shorts in general that I wear on a regular rotation. And those are three of them and they're all fantastic and they all uh, are fantastic summer options. It really depends on your personal style, your personal preferences, what colors you love and your body shape. Kathy says, why sometimes we think are fattening? I see. So that, that has to do with color theory, uh, body shape, and um, that is not a short answer either. White is the most attractive color to the eye. It's the first color your, your eye goes to. And, and again, this is something we cover in depth in the Style Your Silhouette course. Um, and so it's the first thing your, your eye will look at. Um, and it also causes things to advance visually. So white does not make you look bigger. It's that your eye sees it first and draws it toward you. Where dark colors, your eye see last and they recede. Am I going the right? I'm doing one thing. So the white comes towards you and the black recedes visually. Like that's just how your eye perceives it. And that's what is going on. But it's not the only thing at play here. It can depend on the cut. Um, it depends on your body shape, uh, the shape of the pants and the shorts. And, um, oh, there was one more thing I was going to say. Oh, oh, oh. So last summer in the Stunning Style Society with the um, classic wardrobe guides, every week I also do a style lesson called a style step. And last summer I did a whole lesson all about how to shop for and wear white confidently because there are also some tricks with that. So um, anybody can wear white. There's just tricks to know about it. Um, and those are things that I've covered very in depth in these, in these other places. So, um, I know that that's, that's what's out there. Just generally people say that white pants make you look bigger, but, um, anybody can wear them as long as you get the details right. And I just think they're fantastic. I love them. They're my favorites. I'll never stop wearing them. Geraldine says, been shopping my closet for accessories, costume, jewelry, and even clothes. Yay. That's. That makes me so happy. I found things that I was going to actually go out and spend money for because they are must haves, but I already own them. An example is tortoise shell costume jewelry to go with my black dress. This is only one example. Thank you, April. Oh, that makes me so happy. And do you know how many times in the past I came home with um, something identical to what I already owned because I'd forgotten I had it. I think most of us have done that. And that is um, so frustrating. I am so, 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 so glad that you shopped your closet first, went in there, saw what you had, and saved yourself the time, money, and trouble of going shopping for it when you already had it. That's perfect. That's perfect. I love that. I'm so glad you shared that. That makes me happy. You know how it's fun to shop vicariously, like when somebody else buys stuff, and you're like, oh, I want to see what you got. Show me, show me, show me. And that's why unboxings are so much fun. Like on YouTube, people want to see like, oh, what'd you buy? Because we get a little bit of that thrill ourselves without spending the money. <laughs> so that's, it's the same thing. I am vicariously uh, living through your shopping, your closet. Like I feel like, it sounds a little silly, but I feel um, satisfaction like that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's funny, huh? Audrey says, what's the best hanger for shorts? Um, well, if you like hanging your shorts, uh, I would buy the kinds with the clips and hang them from the hem of your shorts. It's hard to keep them like 
if you want to fold them over here, you need a, oh, it sounds like the neighbor kids are here to play. That's who rings the doorbell 10 times in a row, right? Neighbor kids. <laughs> um, and uh, if you want to fold them over a hanger, you would need something like one of those flocked velvet hangers. Otherwise, they're just going to slide to the floor all the time. So those are the comments and questions I see. Once again, thank you so much for joining me for this style snack. Um, I will not uh, be here next Wednesday. I have an appointment at this time, so I won't be able to join you. Um, but I, Kathy says, I kept thinking UPS now is there. That's possible. My kids don't always answer the door when they should. So maybe I should go and see if that's a delivery as well. But um, thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.